Hello guys, it is so good to be back on this seat. I haven't been here in a while and my guest is already causing trouble. Guys, I'm about to talk to Ghana's favorite rapper and the most troublesome rapper, Papi Kojo. 2023, it's almost over. How has it been for you? Amazing. What do you think? I dropped the number one tape. Tapes are already number one on Apple Music. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Sorry, that. sorry. Sack is calling me. Yo, babe. I'm going to highlight you back. I'm going to get back. Uh, bro, we the superstars they call we yo. Like we make busy. Let's get to it. Papi, what's up? It looks like you've been in Ghana a lot this year. Cause I was Are they Italy former? Have they deported oh, no, you? No, 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 never. Okay. I'm going this weekend. Okay. Yeah, I was. I'm. I, um, I was here because of my tape. I had to record with Conti. Okay. And I had to like pay very much attention to my tape. So that's why I've been here for long. But I'm going this weekend. Okay, yeah. all right. Are, are you going because you want to promote the album, the EP? In? No, I'm going because I'm going home. Like, after work, after your work, where do you go? Your wife and your kids. I'm coming. After work, where do you go? Oh, goodness. I'm asking you a question. After I work, where do you go? I go home. Exactly, so I'm also going home. Okay. Let's talk about Kanawu. Guys, if you're not aware, Papi just dropped... Oh, goodness. Papi just dropped the hottest EP to end the year 2023. Gr Kanawu. Why Kanawu? I believe in free speech. Okay. Um, I believe that um, um, keeping things in your head because of people's reaction, you know, it's not good for your health. I believe in saying what you feel mm -hmm. and expressing it. And um, yeah, that's why I named it Kadawu. Okay. And I'm also like a fan of um, Ridge Rock Stone. Okay. Um, his albums, his first album was Maka Maka Mena Maka Maka. So thought about it and I said, okay, maybe I should name mine Kanawu. Okay. Yeah. I see that. But, you know, free speech is not always good. Sometimes through the things you say, even though it's, you know, uh, As long you as you're not disrespecting say, anyone, okay. yeah, okay. you should be able to speak your mind. Okay. Is that why you're always speaking your mind yeah, all yeah. on social yeah, media? Yeah. And yeah, as long as I'm not disrespecting anyone. But I'm sometimes good. some of the things you have said have been seen as disrespectful towards the other party. Okay, give me an example of what do you You're mean? always trolling people. You've trolled Keche. I haven't trolled. You've trolled. You haven't trolled them. When we talk about internet, you know, stuff, when we talk about trolling, some of the things that's that you true. do, that's trolling. That's not true. I've just been replying them. I haven't been trolling. It's not like Keche is just in their corner okay. and I just go and troll them. Okay. They went on stage and said, Pat Koje, your mother, do you think it's They were nice? reacting to something. No, it's not nice. Yeah, it's of, not nice. Of, yeah, so, it's not yeah, nice. Yeah. So, I mean, I could be doing worse, you yeah. know, because moms, you don't bring moms into, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't think I've, I've been sure. Okay, I've, I've just okay. Been a good guy. All right. Now, you, it looks like for the past uh, projects that you've dropped, mm -hmm. you use negative stuff that have been said about you as your intro. Mm. Um, when you use that, mm -hmm. Are you agreeing to it or are you just making fun of those things? Oh, I think um, um, it's very funny okay. when I hear these things. Uh, it's like, um, you know how when you take pictures and you're going to print it, they take the negative and turn it into positive? That's what it is. Okay. And I could have sued them because that was, um, they threatened me okay. that they would beat me wherever they meet me. Yeah. And I could have taken them to court, you understand? But um, I said, you know what? Uh, I want to take this situation and turn it into something positive. Okay. And then I made it my intro to my EP. Okay. And, and I think I, it's a good behavior and you people should clap for me. Come on. Thank you. Thank Papi, you. why are you afraid that your fellow man says they'll beat you? You've been going to the gym, building all this muscle. Can't you I'm not face afraid. Them? I just don't want to beat them. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in a violent state. You know, I just want to be positive, you mm -hmm. know, so rather wanting to be them, mm -hmm. um, I want to, you know, put it on the table. Okay, yeah. that's good. Let's talk about your hair. You like my hair? We've no I love it. Thank you. I, lo I love yours too. Thank you. But yeah, what, what inspired, you know, after all these years, we've mm -hmm. known you to have, you know, these beautiful dreadlocks. Mm. What, what inspired you to cut it off and, and go with a new look? I had enough. Okay. Um, I've, I've had it for like 15 years, mm -hmm. you know, I can dedicate my whole life to dreadlocks, you know, yeah, yeah so, um, this probably I will even change it, maybe next year I'll go Sakura, because you like Sakura men, so. Maybe, Who likes? Oh, we Did know I? you, we know you, we know, we know you. King, King promise. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys so if you haven't listened to the ep like i said earlier you need to go to um you know all the streaming platforms and do so let's talk about the song in which mm -hmm. is you know all over thank you what inspired that song um women you like yourself okay um i love women i love beautiful women mm -hmm. all type of women yeah black women mm -hmm. white women hajia women hajia <laughs> Christian woman, Hajia woman, <laughs> you know, so um, um, I, I realized that I really love women. I might even love women more than food, you know, so um, yeah, and it's, I think it's something that everyone can relate to, Okay. you know, even though the LGBTQ plus is like really, really going high, but I still feel like um, a woman conversation is like something that everyone, you know, can relate. So, but then, even though you are here appreciating women, appreciating us, you said we like in Kwasiafo. Do you think it's not true? I think it's not. What do you mean when you say Kwasiafo? What is your no, definition of no way? You don't think women like in No, I don't even. Really? What is in Really? No, what is Kwasiafo? <laughs> I think you're not being honest. No, Papi. Who do you like? I like. Anybody? No, just a, a, some guy that you're attracted to. We want to see the guy say we want to name them. Let's ask them if this guy be quasi or this guy not be quasi. Five star. What do you guys think? <laughs> Five star. I believe that all men, including myself, we mm -hmm. are on quasi for. You know, I, I believe that we don't deserve women. You know. And you yeah. really don't deserve us. It's true. Yeah, I think men don't because deserve. yeah, the way you treat us sometimes. Yeah, I you think don't. men really don't deserve women. Mm -hmm. So every guy is a kwasia, you know. And I think most of the women agree. They 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 agree that women be So you are being our mouthpiece. Yeah, I'm just always team Echoing. women. Yeah, always team women. Okay. Yeah. I might okay. even change my sex and become a woman one day, like a trans woman. <sighs> Let us deal with your other issues first. Okay. okay. All right, sure. All right. Yeah. But has there ever been any lady that you were in a relationship with that now you feel the person didn't deserve you? Oh, yeah. All of my exes. They didn't deserve you? At all. They deserve better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they deserve better. I'm a, I'm a serious quasi at work. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you said you want... Hajia women, both Hajia women and Christian, Christian women. women. Yeah. Are you religious? Why are you attracted no, to? I'm so, not. but why are you attracted to I'm women? I'm just attracted faith? to women, like all type of women, Christian women. Doesn't no, but you mentioned a, a specific. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're Christian or you're a Hajia woman. Mm -hmm. I, I still love you. you okay, know? so probably you are attracted to women. Why are you still not married? Hey, um, who said I'm not married? I don't see a ring on your finger. That's old school. Come on. That's so you're married. So Papi is telling us he's married. Maybe it's private. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like to keep things private. Okay. Maybe I'm married. Maybe I'm not. No. Okay. And Maybe kids. I'm married to a dog. Maybe I'm married to a man. Maybe I'm married to coconut. Who knows? You know? <laughs> what about kids? Do you have oh, them no. or are you planning to have some? Um, yeah. I want kids so bad. I want kids so bad, so the next girl that I'm going to be having sex with, just know that there will be no condom. And yeah, be careful, Pa, because... Is that how you want to have your kids? Um, I mean, if you wear condom, are you going to have kids? No, but like, you just said any girl, the next yeah, girl... Yeah, because I just don't it. sleep with any girl, but the ones that I sleep with, okay. like, just check yourself, because I could wear it, and then you think I'm wearing it, then... <laughs> What if this woman doesn't want to have a baby with you? Then why would you sleep with me? Wow. Anyway, when you released the artwork for Kanawu, mm. we saw some really interesting features. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was Waiting You Do Me featuring Stoneboy. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited about that particular single because I think you had teased when you met Stoneboy, you know, you had shared a video from yeah. that, you know, meetup. And yeah. we were really excited. So when I saw that, you know, there was a song on, mm. on the EP, I was excited. I woke up the day you released the EP, listened to it, heard the Stoneboy song. I was hyped. 
And then in the middle of the day, it vanished. It vanished. <laughs> Jay Z called me that Stoneboy has called him that I haven't cleared this one. <laughs> Don't worry that you are Ghanaians, you are everywhere, I'm fine to you. You know when he went on an interview and it was like, Patwa, Chi, same thing. It wasn't the same thing for Jay-Z. They called and um, we, uh, we didn't clear the song. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be on the next project, you know. Okay, but mm -hmm. why didn't you clear it though? Was it out of excitement? Did you just um, yeah, add it um, to the EP out of excitement without um, clearing it first? Um, I was communicating with one of his guys. I wasn't talking to Stone himself because okay. he wasn't in Ghana. Okay. Yeah, and I think it wasn't really clear. The communication wasn't really clear. So, yeah. I mean, I felt the same way you guys are feeling, honestly. Yeah. But the song is still there. So, next project, you know? Okay. Okay, so there's no, you know, like friction about oh, no, you no, not I being able I, to. I, I'm, I'm scared of stone. I can't, I can't go that way with stone. <laughs> but <laughs> were you upset? Let's talk oh, about. No. Uh, even though the project is not out, how was it working with him? He was a gentleman. He came to the studio all the way from his house. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he was a gentleman. He wasn't <clears throat> that was the first time, and he was really a gentleman. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Were you um, uh, also part of the people who were disappointed that he wasn't nominated for the Grammys? Um, not really. Like I'm, uh, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know that Ghanaians we've reached where we get nominated for Grammys. I, I don't. I don't. Papi. No, I'm just saying like. I don't, Rocky Dawuni has never, been nominated like, no, for Rocky so Dawuni many years. Is not Ghanaian. Rocky Dawuni is not Ghanaian. Rocky Dawuni is not Ghanaian. He's not Ghanaian. What is he? <laughs> he's an Akan who lives in Ghana, but he's not Ghanaian. You know, like when it comes to Grammys, it's always with Nigerians. Uh, you know, they always mention Nigerians. So hey. I didn't even know that we are. It's our turn. Are you serious? I'm being for real. Papi, you are the one who came, you sat here on this same platform to tell us that you were going to bring Ghana's yeah. first Grammys. Well, so why are you now surprised that Ghanaians are reaching to that height? Yeah, like, and let's be honest, you know, I didn't, I didn't know that we are, it's, because it's just been the Nigerians mm -hmm. for the past, I don't know when. So I didn't know that we are really, it's our turn now, Ten. we're Ghanaians, you know. And when I said I was going to win Grammy for Ghana, yeah. You know I'm an Italian, so I was, you know, like I would do it because my mom is Ghanaian, so I wanted to do it for my mom. Okay. Yeah, I didn't mean that I was going to go and get it for like Ghanaians, like I'm a Ghanaian too. Papi, it's 2023, a lot has happened mm -hmm. in regards to you. Mm -hmm. You were at the protest ground. Mm -hmm. Did you go there because you believed in whatever it was that we were fighting for? I went there for the woman. I feel like whatever you guys were fighting for is not as important as women. Let's be honest. I don't think it was important more than my grandmother or my mom or you or the uh, first lady, you know. And I want to take this time to also say, I don't know, last time I heard, I, um, um, I heard that um, they, are put, they are putting taxes on women's part. Is this still going on? Is this still happening? Okay, so that's going to be my next agenda on Twitter to go after whoever is doing that nonsense. Okay. You know, it's something that I really want to make my priority probably next year. Okay. Yeah, I believe that women should even pay for part. Okay. And now that they're going to put taxes on, whoever is in charge of it will collect it mm -hmm. from me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I went there for women. <coughs> I didn't go there for... Um, the sad thing is I didn't even get one mm. when I went there, so that is all good. It's all good. Okay. You, you go on and off on social media. Is that deliberate? Um, yeah, when I'm recording an EP or an album, I like to um, focus on the, on the album. Okay. Yeah, because if I stay on Twitter, I'll just be fooling. Fooling. Okay. Yeah. It's good you said it yeah, yourself. Yeah, I'll be fooling. So. <laughs> yeah, it will take my attention off the tape. This year, somebody that is very, I don't know, it's in your business. I don't know how to put it, but you guys are linked in some way or form. Ooh. She released the book. It was very, 
it went far. Mm. And in the book, what she says, Yvonne Nelson, and in the book, she says she tends to gravitate towards people's needs, talents, intelligence, and realness. Was that, would you think these were some of the qualities why you guys formed any connection? I guess. Okay. I didn't reach out to Yvonne. I'll never reach out to Yvonne. Okay. She reached out to me. To you, okay. So I guess she. That's how your. Yeah. But were you, you know, the fact that every conversation we have about puppy, not every, but most of them, Yvonne always sometimes comes, you know, in the picture. Really? But then when she, no, most, when she come published, on, come when she like... published her book, she did not make any mention of you or any. I also thing. don't put her in my book. Okay. Then it's draw, draw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the hell? Does she think did I also put her in my did book? You, did you? Nobody is putting anybody in their book. And that's how we are doing it. Like, come on. Oh, but, so you expected her to, to, to say no, something? I didn't, I didn't even know if she would. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I don't, like, bro. You know, for her to be so, <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on in her life. I'm just like you guys. Okay. I saw the book online, all okay. the filler. Mm -hmm. I heard everything online, okay. like you guys, you know, so I don't know. When mine drops to Evil Pool, you will hear, hear about it. Okay. Let's talk about the other songs on the EP. Samba and Darko Vibes. Is this the first time you're working with Darko Vibes? Yeah. No, actually, it's not the first time. Mm -hmm. We've worked before, but we never released the song. Okay. Yeah, Green Means Go Remix. Yeah. We featured the whole Lamem, but the okay. song never came out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was fun working with Darko. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what's his name? Reggie, who you that's expressed. Like, uh, that's, yes. that's, that's my homie. Uh -huh. that's, that's, that's blood. But I think one of the interesting songs or features on the album is the um, the One Summer Part Two, featuring mm -hmm. the Slim Drums. It was like a whole display of different talents Fancy that rappers. yeah that we've never heard before. Yeah, yeah. Um, was that a plan to you know yeah. showcase their their yeah. talents? Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe that rap is dead in Accra, mm -hmm. and the only way to revive rap is to bring it from Takradi. Mm -hmm. Because these guys, all they do is rap. Yeah. Like, if, if there is a club in Takradi where they play Afrobeats, they're not even going to go there. Like, the, the rap culture is still heavy there. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like it's something that um, these new rappers need, you know. Mm -hmm. Rap is watered down lately. Yeah. And I feel like people need to get back to their pen mm -hmm. and write some hard shit, you yeah. know. Okay, that's good. Now... Uh, what's the focus for this EP? It's out. People are jamming to Embassy It's you number have... one. I told you, just went number one. Okenet has given you the. Was it Okenet who was on number one that yeah, you were it begging? Yeah, he was fooling at number one. He went and slap, slap in them, dropped him real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Shout out to Okenet though. Like, are they go Kumasi go me time for there? What do you mean? Coming to spoil my destiny? Your shine. Eh? Nonsense. Okay. So number one EP. Number one, number one in the country. Drake is under me. Bena Boy is under me. You go and check. All these stars that even they see like that, they are all under me. On the chart. <laughs> if you are Drake, you are Drake in Toronto and America. You're not Drake here. <laughs> if you are Papi If you are Bena Boy, you are Bena Boy in Nigeria. No here in Accra. Shit. Papi, are you under a label? Mm. So you do all this by yourself. You are rich, too. Yo, I'm a Gio. Like, yo. Yeah, we know what they do. Hey, what's now? Like, Who is financing? Ten carat. Ten carat. <laughs> we know what they do everything. We don't even get manager. We don't even get manager. We they do everything. We went by number yourself. one. By yourself. Play with us. Don't you want to look for people to take over some of the aspects? I don't so trust that... people. Okay. I don't trust people with my work. They delay me. Like, I hate it. I so you like handling everything? Yeah, my everything myself. Like okay. I'm I'm at peace with that. You okay. Know? Yeah. And there are funds for you to keep investing. Yeah, yeah, in and yourself. everything also comes to me. Like I don't have to share. Like, I don't want to percent, fifty percent. This is a greedy I keep man. Everything to myself and I do the work. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And for you me. can do it too. I feel like I feel like it's just nice when we say, hey, it's my manager, it's my manager. This is uh, like, bro, bro, you can do it yourself. Okay. I'm talking to the upcoming artist, mm -hmm. you know, the, you can do it yourself. All you need is an iPhone. Yeah. 
For real. iPhone out there record here. Yep. I shot the music video myself with my iPhone. But they have to pay for producers, music producers. Squinty is my boy. I just gave him weed and he's happy. Squinty just loves weed. <laughs> So I'm like I'm very fortunate, mm -hmm. you know. I'm very very fortunate to have a music to producer. have these people around me. Like bro, like I don't they don't stress me at all, you know. But that's yeah. taking advantage of them. How yes. am I taking advantage Woody. when I'm giving him what he wants? Weed. That's what he wants. Okay. Hey, how am I taking advantage? Oh. Or she? Or, 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 or what do you call it? If he smokes, won't he eat? I don't know. That one I don't know. All I know is I just give him that and then we are straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to Scotty though. Scotty again. <laughs> anyway, are you dropping any more music videos from the EP? Oh yeah, every song has a music video. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. I'm strapped. That's why I'm going back to Italy. Italy to go get more money. To go and what do you mean go get more money? Okay. To, to go and sleep with the white girls. And get money. No no no. I'm just it's Christmas time. I'm just going to like release. But Christmas. Christmas time is busy in Ghana. Won't you be? Huh? Oh goodness! Christmas time is busy in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Are you not build on shows and all? Oh that? yeah. If Christmas is busy in Ghana, how does Benaboy play? Is does Benaboy stay in Ghana? Any last, last words for your <laughs> fans who are watching you bully me on my own show? Fans, may I tell you guys something? If you know me, you people are like, bro, like the way my ops go gets me, bro. And you guys know I get serious ups for this country. But you guys, Nobody is after you. You're after your own self. It's all in your head. You guys, way you they make my ups, they shy. They shy big time. So big ups to you, my fans, Charlie. I love you guys. DM me. Make I send you guys Momo. Serious Momo. The money come. You, you know, see, 10 cards. The money come. So you DM me, Momo, send you Momo. Love you. Okay.